In Shatterin 5th edition, just having some magic doesn't always cut it. Sometimes you need a way to boost your power, and for that, you'll need a magical focus. You could try to find one on the black market, or steal one from another magician, but I'm here to tell you that there is another way to get your hands on exactly what you need. Artificing. Artificing is the process of crafting a magically enchanted focus, and is a six-step process. Step 1. Acquire or design the formula for your desired focus. Decide what kind of focus you want, and then what force you want it to be, and what form you want it to take. The kinds of foci include things like spell focus or power focus. All the different kinds can be found on a table in the SR5 Core rulebook on page 318. Designing your own formula requires an extended test of arcana plus magic with a threshold of force times force, and it takes one day of work per test. Translating a focus formula from another tradition is easier, requiring the same test, but only a threshold of force total hits. Or you can of course buy one if you have access to a helpful magician or a good talismonger. The formula determines the focus type, its force, and what form it must take, and what magical tradition it can be used for. Step 2. Obtain the item that will be enchanted. It must match the requirements of the formula, so a formula for a dagger focus cannot be used to enchant a ring. This object is called a telesma, and your focus will be much easier to enchant if it is natural or of simple construction, because its object resistance will be used against you in step 5. Step uh, two and a half. If you have the artisan skill and take time to craft the telesma yourself, you can gain extra dice for step 5. The maximum number of extra dice you gain from crafting your own telesma is equal to how many ranks you have in the artisan skill. Make an extended test using your artisan plus intuition, a threshold of 5, and one day per test. You can take as many days as you like to finish the telesma, but your goal is to accumulate as many net hits as your ranks in artisan. Each net hit, meaning hits after the first 5, gets you an extra die in step 5, where you will be enchanting the thing. Step 3. Prepare your lodge. You must have a magical lodge with a force greater than or equal to the force of the focus you wish to enchant. Make sure you have a bathroom incorporated into your lodge, a place to sleep, and plenty of food, because if you leave at any time during the enchantment process, you automatically fail. Step 4. Spend Reagents. On page 318 of the SR5 Core rulebook is a table with the karma cost for bonding all the different types of foci. You must spend a number of reagents at this point equal to what the karma cost would be to bond the focus you're making. These are used up whether you succeed or not. Step 5. Roll the Bones Over the course of force days, you're going to be busy creating the enchantment. I must remind you that during this time you may not leave your magical lodge or the enchantment automatically fails. Roll your artificing plus magic against a number of dice equal to the focus's force, plus the talisma's object resistance. That is the object resistance table found on page 295 of the SR5 core rulebook. The more complex and mechanical the object, the higher the object resistance. This is why you don't normally see enchanted cyberdecks. If you crafted your own telesma, don't forget to add the extra dice that you worked so hard to get. The focus's actual final force is equal to your net hits on this test. If you critically glitch, you permanently lose one essence. Here's the biggest kick to the data jack. You may not use edge on this test, not to push the limit, not even to avoid the loss of a point of essence due to a critical glitch. Be careful out there. Step 6. Resist, drain, and spend the karma. You must resist a number of boxes of drain equal to the force of the formula that was used, not the actual final force of the focus if it's different, plus two for each hit that was scored against you in step five. That's hits, not net hits. If you go unconscious, well, the enchantment process fails. If you're still awake, spend one karma per force. The focus is actual force, not the formulas, to complete the focus. With the focus complete, anyone may now bind it by spending the required karma and time. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next. And if you like this video, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash complex action. Our patrons help to support the videos made here and in return get access to thank you rewards. Everything here is made possible by the generous support of our patrons. 
and thanks again for watching.